the point is uh, it was not coming because it was processing because as soon as i stopped it suddenly shuru kiya na to shayad chipak raha tha ab sawal ye hai ki under what circumstances the word or shall be treated as what and assume the language of law suppose says like this that he or she shall be punished for the imprisonment of imprisonment up to 10 years set so one day assume that bunty and bubbly bunty and bubbly both committed crime together and they were presented before the court so lawyer ne ye argument de ki my lord look at the provision kya likha he or so either he or she will be punished for the imprisonment up to 10 years so either bunty will be punished or bubbly and they are deciding that who should go to face this penalty is this interpretation correct if bunty was punished bubbly will be revealed or bubbly was got punished then bunty will be revealed is this in i would say literal interpretation is correct interpretation or wrong interpretation totally wrong interpretation are bolo mere bhai totally wrong interpretation of course so how to interpret here the term or likha hai lekin interpret kya karna hai and he and she if both of them are there together both of them will be punished so aisa nahi hai so what i'm saying guys main things what is applicable is the common sense you have to apply your common sense while doing this kinds of things अब एक हम और बात करते हैं वो है डेफिनेशन बट डेफिनेशन में आप ध्यान रखो कभी कभी एग्जाम में पूछ लेते हैं एमसीक्यूज में भी पूछ लेते हैं देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डेफिनेशन वॉट आर देयर इन योर एग्जाम द फर्स्ट इज राइट ऑन दस रेस्ट्रिक्टिव डेफिनेशन रेस्ट्रिक्टिव डेफिनेशन Or second is write down over here. Second, wait a second. Here, yeah, the definitions. Why did I not tell you? Yeah. Extensive definition. Yes, that's the other word. Extensive definition. ये ध्यान रखना बेटा वो जरा लाओ ना किताब वापस मुझे लगता है डेफिनेशन के सेक्टर में लिखा होगा लुक एट द एक्सटर्नल एड्स और सॉरी इंटरनल एड्स इंटरनल एड्स ओपन करो और इंटरनल एड्स में डेफिनेशन का टॉपिक निकालो उसमें देखो ये एक्सटेंसिव रेस्ट्रिक्टिव वो सब बातें लिखी गई है इट इज देर ना Yes, guys. It is that. It is that. How many people think that? How many ambiguous definitions or sub? Okay. One thing is that we have definition open. We have to do it. The last point we have to do is to do it. By the way, we have that inter internal aid, so I will cover, cover that. The another point what I would like to cover here is the ages term. Ages term. Generous. What do you mean by here? Ages term generous. मेरे हिसाब से आउट ऑफ ऑल दिस दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट टफेस्ट टॉपिक्स एवर बिन देयर ये सर ऐसा नहीं है बच्चे ये सबसे इजी है इफ आई आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस इन द लॉ इट इज रिटर्न दैट दिस प्रोविजन आर एप्लीकेबल टू द बर्ड्स स्पैरो Wait, not a bird. Let's put it like animals, dogs, cats, goats, 
cows, buffaloes, etc. By referring to the principles given in the Ijaz term generis, tell me the meaning of this word etc. Does it include lions? Etc. Word me lion aega nahi aega. Bhavna? Tiger? Jackals? Hyenas? Elephants? Why? So are on the animals. Domestic. Kaise pata chala aapko? Exactly. The word etc. Like. You know, like words. Instead of animals like, agar yaha mein like likh diya hota, suppose. To exam mein yeh puchha ja sakta ki interpretation of like or interpretation of etc. So you understand. Sometimes it is possible that you need to interpret the meanings of the words by studying some patterns. By studying some patterns, either given before the word or either given after the word. So here the term etc. doesn't include lions, tigers, but it includes what just the domestic animals. So wild animals are not in the definition. So it is quite obvious that wild animals, these provisions don't apply. Okay, if I tell you that you will be punished by fine or penalty, interest or charge. Yeah, but charge ka matlab kya ho? Should I take this as a company and charge? Should I take it electric charge? So what is the meaning of charge here? Fine. Try to interpret by studying the pattern. Is, is there any pattern given? So here the charge ka hota hai, penalty charges or fine charges. Am I clear? So you have to just look at is there any pattern or not in the sentence and if look it is like this when general words general terms are following some precedent or descendant patterns then by studying those patterns you have to interpret these words and this concept in the interpretation world is known as just and generous I guess ye dekho bacha, ye ek aisa concept tha. even if you don't read from the book I think everyone has the common sense to know that so whatever is already established in the common sense psychology they have put into the book and they have said just and generous पारस की शकल देखने जैसे थी जब पहली बार मैंने इसको नाम लिया ये बोला कि ये क्या यार इतना भयानक नाम है यार और कंसर्ट कैसा निकला कितना इजी है ठीक है सो विद दिस आई एम टेलिंग यू गाइस आई वुड से प्राइमरी रूल्स आर ओवर बट एक्सप्लेनेशन इज ओवर इन आई वुड से उसमें डिटेल में हम कल डिटेल में तो नहीं जाएंगे डिटेल हमने ऑलरेडी कर लिया बट आई विल टेल यू दैट व्हिच पैराग्राफ इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी आस्क्ड इन एग्जाम सो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट we have till 1 right or 130 only one so already you exceeded so fine ask it in the internal aids or external aids internal means you are interpreting from the corners or the from the areas within the law external means in order to interpret the provision sometimes you check the history the history internal aid hai, external aid hua. Ab, law ke andar nahi pad rahe ho. law ke bahar ko study kar ke law ko interpret kar rahe ho. Former laws, if you want to understand GST, read previous VAT laws and uh, service tax laws or excise laws. Read the foreign decisions. Are we taking the reference of the foreign decision in the corporate law? Are bhai, Indian... So, baad mein aayega, sabse jayada konsa laws or uh, case studies aate? So, foreign decision, it's a state of, like study of the external aid to interpret our Indian laws. Dictionary definition. Sometimes you are confused. You are opening the dictionary and want to see that what is exact grammatical meaning written over there. Then, do you guess? Get me what I am saying? So external aid means try to interpret the law by going beyond the text of the act. But internal aid means 
Study the word title is trying to convey, what provisions are trying to convey, what marginal notes are trying to convey, what explanation is trying to convey. So internal aids over here. Tomorrow I will take some time to tell you that in the internal aid, which is the part of the law and which is just as a reference. ठीक है थैंक यू चलो मिलते हैं कल